Hello and welcome to your February 2023 full moon reading with myself Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, before we go anywhere, let me just tell you something really exciting. And that is that I am launching a sister channel to this one. Because this one mainly deals with readings, which are obviously, obviously awesome. <laughs> okay, but I have had so many questions about, oh, you know, I, I love the readings, but you said something about something in astrology and I don't understand it, blah, 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 blah. So, and I get that. It is not an easy topic at all. So I have decided to soon launch a channel that explains astrology in bite-size videos um, and I'm hoping it gets your attention and it answers a few questions and all you need to do is go to www.youtube.com forward slash at Thomas Janak. Perfect. Anyway, I will um, at the end of the video will um, link a little um, thingy bob there so you can go. Yeah. Anyway, rambling aren't I? So. Oh, and another thing, have you noticed how different I look? Well, I've just decided to embrace my natural curls um, and have my beard trimmed. Obviously, I'm a complete idiot at these things. So I had a bit of help from the wonderful Trisha from Revive Holistic Therapies. Thank you so much. I think I look awesome. Thanks to you. Now, <laughs> revivetherapies.com are absolutely awesome. And I leave a link uh, to their page in the description box. Um, so please go there. Wow, looks like we have an unofficial sponsor, which we actually don't. Anyway, so back to the video at hand. Have a wild guess in which sign the full moon on the 5th of February is in. Difficult to figure it out? You're an idiot, right? It is in the sign of Leo. Really, really important. This is my friend Lenny. Let me eat a lion. Uh, he doesn't talk much. It's, um, that's because he's bored. Card bot. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm not with it today. Point is, the full moon will be in the sign of Leo on the February 5th, 2023. Now, what is interesting about this is that the full moon obviously sits in the sign of this guy. And Leo is the only zodiac or the only star sign in our wheel that is governed by the sun. Now the sun and the moon, while they're oftentimes fairly close together, if that makes sense, they don't share space well. Um, let's just simplify this. Obviously, when you look at it from a simple point of view, the night, uh, you know, or the, or the moon is the ruler of the night and the sun is the ruler of the day. So, uh, but, but they have overlapping points and where they intercept one another, that energy, can create weather phenomena um, and even and even eclipses and that kind of stuff. And um, way back in the day, when people were looking at the stars without having all the knowledge we have today, uh, they would be scared <clears throat> of the eclipses and um, oftentimes would refer to them as parts of dragons. So be this as it may, the point is that when you are being born, whatever sign the sun is in becomes your star sign or your sun sign. And it is always where the sun is. And Leo is governed by the sun. So what that means is the energy of the full moon in February 2023 brings out your zest for life, but also maybe a bit of your ego. The point is what you can expect with the energy of the sun being so prominent is a bit of trauma, but here's the other thing, because obviously the moon is our emotions and the sun is the guy, for instance, that says, I have a crush on you, but I don't know how to say it. Well, with the full moon in Leo, he's just going to give you a call. It's just like, you ready for a cup of tea? Right? So the point I'm trying to make here in my own clumsy way is what will happen is on the fifth or around that time, is that you will be very likely a bit more brazen, a bit more direct, and it is for the better. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this whole, you know, let's hook up for a coffee thing is because 
while the full moon is super important um, as it brings out this this zest for ex for expressing yourself which is so much so important and because we find it difficult to deal with emotions the the energy of leo and the combination of the sun and the moon who are oftentimes don't not sure what they should do with one another that's the whole point here um, so can bring out a little bit of confusion but on a whole um, you are much more interested in solving stuff than not solving stuff and this is further important because obviously moving on from the um, from the full moon um, as we're heading towards the the Valentine's Day time on the 15th the moon itself is super close to Venus which is the planet of love and I thought for the first time in forever even though people have asked me numerous times to do this I just thought it was a stupid idea <laughs> um, on this channel you will also find a um, Valentine's Day um, reading if that makes sense based on the energy of the moon being close to Venus now going back to this guy what is important about understanding with the full moon which is obviously creates the strongest energy there is being in Leo what it also highlights is we is Leo's or the, the, the constellation of Leo's pros and cons yeah shall we share that yeah it's 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 not it's it's common knowledge just people don't this don't you know research it doesn't make you weaker right anyway so what happens is that, that the, the Sun itself which is represented by this guy just like the moon the Sun goes through phases they don't affect us all that much but the solar flares that the Sun is um, bombarded with and exposed to all the time do affect the magnetic field of the Earth now conversely the magnetic field of the Earth goes deeper than just our planet it is also about our magnetic fields which is our auras so it has been measured since the 1750s so people have always known <coughs> that the solar flares affect earth and um, so therefore it has been measured now it has been measured in sort of um, cycles and at the moment we are in what is known as the, um, the cycle number 25 because the solar flare periods that, that we're going through as a planet um, are sort of cyclical in a, in, a, in a measurable way so they normally are mostly 11 years or between 11, 8 and 11 years per cycle and uh, each cycle has a specific energy to it point is we are affected by our magnetic field being bombarded by energy that can make us feel tired because it's a bit too much like I said it doesn't affect us as much as the moon phases do but with the full moon being in Leo therefore highlighting what Leo as a constellation has to or the Sun has to endure means that we will also feel it so what you can expect around the time of um, February the 5th is for anything that is niggling inside you to flare up because your magnetic field which obviously is your aura and then behind your aura if that makes sense um, are your chakras might make you feel I need to align I, I need to do more here and yes being in a, in a, in a seven year 2023 20, two and two and three seven which is the highest number of protection and healing what will happen in this year is that a lot of stuff that your body is physically uh, having problems with um, will flare up because the body houses the soul and somehow the body knowing that there is a full alignment happening literally every day for for the entirety of the 20 23 or for the seven years seven year so the body will very likely send you extra pain even just to say to you like look at this it's not working now the point I'm making is around the and especially on the 5th of February which is the day we're talking about the full moon day the only way to deal with the additional energy that can bring out this feistiness in you and remember you don't have to be loud because if if this guy wouldn't be made out of cardboard I would hope that we would be friends otherwise I would probably be dinner right so the whole point is 
as the energy of Leo is strong because it's highlighted by the full moon sitting in it, understand this, that by default, anytime we talk about a lion, uh, for want of a better word, um, you, you pay attention. So people will pay much more attention to you simply because the moon sits in Leo. So use that knowledge that therefore you don't have to make a point five times and you don't have to be loud about it. right? And as a lion walks his perimeter and, and makes sure his territory is safe, that is the most uh, important message for you. Um, to make sure that your boundaries are well known to others and that you um, live by them, if that makes sense, right? It's no point having other people step over your boundaries time and again because then they become pretty useless, right? So, I hope that um, all makes sense to you. <laughs> um, and you can see, when I do these readings, um, I literally, because I talk about them and, and you work with the energy, um, it is my experience that the energy of that full moon is already here when I record the video because we're highlighting it. And so, as you have uh, uh, no doubt noticed, I'm a bit all over the place. And, and um, which is not super uncommon for me, but the point is I feel like I'm a bit... Hey, hey. And this is also very, very likely what you can expect from for everybody on the 5th of February 2023. Now remember, if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Thank you so much for Trish um, to doing this. I look amazing. I mean, you know cute when you see it, right? <laughs> anyway, has been forever. I normally just tie my hair back because I don't know what the fuck to do with it. And then I just thought, you know, maybe just embrace the curls. So that's awesome. All good. Anyway, so I will leave a link to to um, to Trisha's uh, business um, in the outro. Um, please like, subscribe, and share. And like I said, there will be another little clip um, in the end. It's just a, an image about the upcoming um, new sister channel here. You know, it is written in the stars above. It's called, but it's actually called Astrology with Thomas for short. All you need to know is the address: www.youtube.com forward slash at Thomas Yanak. Super easy, but it is all in the outro for you again. That concludes the February 2023 um, reading. Yeah, what do you think? Was it all coherent enough, Lemmy? I call him Lemmy, right? Right, well, not saying much, but maybe that's a good thing, right? <laughs> in any case, well, um, thank you so much. See you all very soon. Say goodbye. 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 Good boy. All right. Bye-bye.